Salve te omnes. Let's continue with the Aeneid, Book 1. Extemplo Libiae magnot id fama per urbes, fama, malum qua non oliud melocius ulam, mobilitate viget vires quedverit undo. Parua metu primo moxese atolit in auras, in gratitur que solo et caput inter nubila condit. Immediately, rumor goes through the great cities of Libya. It comes from eo ire to go. So immediately rumor goes through the great cities of Libya. Rumor than whom no other, not any other evil is swifter. Willocius, that is an applet or that is a comparative adjective than whom no other evil is swifter. You have to supply an S here. And this qua is an ablative of comparison. Rumor than whom. Not another, any other evil is swifter. Kind of a mouthful here, right? Okay, let's move on to these last three lines. Let's start with our first verb, we get. So she flourishes because of her speed ablative of cause, and she gains strengths by going, or as she goes. Here we have an ablative gerund, gerund. Primo, at first, parua, small, by fear, or because of fear. Soon she raises herself into the breezes, and she walks on the ground, and she establishes her head among the clouds. So this section is starting off the description of rumor. Rumor here is personified as fama, a divine being. So rumor is going through the great cities of Libya and she's telling everyone about the affair between Dido and Aeneas. So down here we have a description of how she moves. She moves fast. And as she goes, she gets stronger, and her, her tail probably gets louder. She probably starts speaking louder, telling everyone, whispering into their ears about Dido and Aeneas. So this is just a personified way of how rumor travels throughout the lands. And at first she's small from fear, but soon she raises herself into the breezes, and she walks on the ground, and she establishes her head between the clouds. So she travels everywhere, and she tells this story far and wide, and she becomes very powerful the more that she tells her story.